here is a question from the chapter conservation of momentum we will discuss this one let us read the question first a small particle of mass m moving inside a heavy hollow and straight tube along the tube axis undergoes elastic collision at two ends the tube has no friction and it is closed at one end by a flat surface while the other end is fitted with a heavy movable flat piston as shown in the figure when the distance of the piston from the closed end is l is equal to l naught the particle speed v is equal to b naught let's see this is the what is given to us this is the, the tube straight to be there this end is fixed and this end there is a piston is there and this piston is moving with a velocity capital v this piston is moving with a velocity capital v and the particle velocity is v so when this is at a distance l from the fixed end the velocity was v naught it is same now the part piston is moved inward at a very low speed v the v speed what is we are telling this is a very very small speed such that v is less than dl by l into v naught where dl is the infinitesimal displacement of the piston then we saying the which of the following statements are correct we have to check see what are the question statements are given Number one, if the piston A, if the piston moves the distance dl, the particle speed increases by 2b dl by l. This is the first question is saying. Second is the if particle's kinetic energy increases by pi a factor of 4 when the piston moves from l to l by 2. And third is saying after each collision, after each collision, particle velocity increases by 2b. And third is saying that the rate at which the particle strikes the piston is v by l out of this first question or alternative we will see which of these will be correct we will see here is a question it says that there is a tube and it is pistoned with a piston here and initially the piston is at a distance at some time t is equal to 0 when you take the length was l and there was a particle here and the particle is moving with a velocity v naught at that instant and this piston is moving with a velocity capital V. The particle moves back and forth. The particle made an elastic collision with the piston. So we know that in case of elastic collision, the particle velocity gets reversed if it collides with a fixed object, but it is not a fixed object. So, if we take in the reference frame of the piston, then piston will be rest and whatever velocity there, the velocity will get reversed. So, let us see what is the velocity in the, with respect to piston. The particle was moving with a velocity v0 plus v towards right. So after the collision, the particle will be moving with a velocity v0 plus v towards the left. So in ground reference frame, what happened? So the in, in ground reference frame, G reference frame. The velocity particle, the velocity of the particle with the piston, but piston is moving with the b velocity. So, in the ground reference plane, the velocity of the particle with respect to ground is, is equal to v naught plus 2b. In fact, it is moving with the velocity v naught plus 2b. But with respect to piston, as piston is going, it is looking like the b plus v naught. So, the particle was in the ground reference plane, particle was moving with the velocity v naught earlier. And after the collision, particle is moving with a velocity v0 plus 2b. So, the change in velocity, delta v, the change in velocity of the particle in each collision, during each collision is equal to 2b, delta v is equal to this, in, during, in each collision. Okay. Now, see, question is asking that when the particle will be here, what will happen? Question is saying that after some time particle will be, the piston will coming very very slowly 
and this velocity is even very very small is very very less than v so when the piston will come here sometime here it will be coming but this distance is equal to l by 2 distance will be there till that time what is the change in velocity will be there in each collision there two v velocity change there so by the time the piston has come from here to here what will be the change in velocity that we want to calculate so to calculate this let us take at some time the velocity of the piston is at a distance not at l not at l by 2 at some distance it is at a distance x the it is at a distance x and if you observe this for dt time and in dt time this has moved a distance dx in what time in dt time it moves a distance dx so and it is this piston is moving with a velocity v so what can i write is the v is nothing but dx by dt but x i am taken so dx is like this so displacement is not dx displacement equal to minus dx and from this equations i can write also that dt is equal to minus dx by v this is one equation i got what is dt dt is the time taken for the piston to move dx distance now see the particle is suppose at this time x distance there the particle has to travel from here to x and they have to travel to again x 2x distance will travel to meet the next collision so between two successive collision what is the distance travel the particle x and x no it is not x plus x 2x it travel a distance x but by the time it comes it will not come up to this it will be coming here because piston has come so we don't know how much distance moved in for subsequent collision so what you will do let us solve in the piston reference pen. but piston reference pen, piston is rest so it will be going like this and again it will be coming back so 2x distance will be traveling so i have to calculate the time taken for the particle to travel back and forth from piston to the wall and wall to the piston if i write like this this will be equal to x distance to travel with what velocity v plus sorry b minus v while traveling like this plus x distance will travel with what velocity x sorry i'll erase this one this time t will be equal to x by v minus capital v plus the back distance will be to the v plus v while coming particle will be going like this piston is going relative velocity equal to v plus 2v so this 2 you will calculate this will go 2vx by v square minus capital V square but you know this v square v is very very small given so this will be equal to 0 so this quantity come out to be equal to 2 1 v and 1 v get cancelled 2x by v this is the time period i can call this is the time period of collision but in two collision one collision gone come back one time period again complex so this is the time taken between two successive collisions so what is the frequency of collision will be reciprocal of this so what will happen what will be there v by 2x will be the frequency of collision frequency of collision means what in each second how many collision take place so in one second number of collision is equal to this much so in dt time number of collision in dt time number of collision will be equal to this time v by 2x into dt this frequency is the number of collision per second into dt time if i substitute the values if i substitute the value then i will call this the dt time number of collision will be equal to what what is the frequency v by 2x into how much number of collision this much and dt dt we have calculated is equal to minus dx by v here minus is there because dx is negative quantity so this x sorry this, this is a 2 x there so this is the dt time this much number of collision and each collision we discuss that change in velocity for each collision equal to v so we can write the change in velocity 
change in velocity in dt time is equal to how much this into 2b so v by 2x minus dx by v into 2b so v v cancel so this is the 2 and 2 also cancel so you get a change in velocity i will write this as a dv with a change in velocity in dt time is equal to v by x into minus dx so this i can write as dv by v minus dx by x if i integrate both the sides this side i integrate this side i integrate and will put the limit then what will get when x is equal to l the velocity is given at the v naught and when this will become to l by 2 what will be the velocity question is asking suppose name is equal to v dash r given so this is equal to ln v by v naught left hand side integration is equal to minus ln l by 2 by l is equal to half so i can write half and this is going to ln 2 will be there so i can write ln ln cancel both the side i'll get the v by 2 v by v naught is equal to 2 or i got the v is equal to 2 v naught so by the time the particle has traveled the piston has traveled by l from l to l by 2 the change in the new velocity of the particle v dash the change in new velocity of the particle will be equal to 2 v naught now as we have finished solving the problem let's see the options okay now there is the option is there first we see c option you see c option saying that after each collision the of the of, with the piston the particle speed increases by 2b we have checked first thing we check that it goes and strike with the velocity v so this is correct b option you see the particle's kinetic energy increases by a factor of 4 when the piston is moved from l to l naught by 2 yes we have checked when we go to l to l naught by 2 the velocity increases by 2b velocity increases from v to 2b so if velocity become double if velocity become double the kinetic energy become how many four types so this one is also correct first option is that if the piston moves a distance dl the particle speed increases by 2b dl by l we have calculated for dx distance when it moves a distance a dx means in dt time we have calculated in dt time if how much distance uh, particle speed increases the change in velocity we have calculated when it moved dx distance move then the change in velocity we calculated to be equal to v by x into minus dx minus b dx by x but it equal to 2v dx by dx so this is wrong and fourth option the rate at which particle strike the piston is well, per second the frequency frequency calculate must be by 2x but it is given v by x or v by l the one that is the wrong this is initially also but initially also v by 2l will be there so this is also wrong so correct option equal to this b and c so our correct option is b and c this is the correct options